Hi everybody, it's Mark with Flicking Feathers again today and I'm going to show you how to make a rattling wiggle tail pipe rig for your tube flies. Um, some people call this a Bowers pipe rig but I'm pretty sure he didn't actually invent it, he just stuck his name on it. Because um, they've been about for a long, long time. So, what you need is some fast attach clips for wiggle tails. Uh, all the snaps for tails, you can get them from uh, Paolo Pacariani who makes the wiggle tails or you know various other places and some titanium wire. Right, so I've got 9 inches, 25 centimetres of 50 pound titanium wire. I wouldn't go any lighter than this. Single strand. Right, this has got enough stiffness to support the tail and all that. Um, don't like going don't like going lighter. So I've just threaded on my snap. You can see it there. And I'm going to follow that with a small plastic bead. Colour doesn't matter. Uh, some folk like to use red, but I've just got a white one here. And I'm going to pull it right down. Snug it up against the bead. Up against the clip. I'm going to take some super glue. Get that dab done. Because you're a nice tight rig at the back there, it stops the wiggle tail being too loose. Now we're ready for our trailing hook. I'm using a Gamakatsu Octopus size 1 or. But use whatever you like. Uh, the partridge stingers are also very good. And you can mess about with the size. You can go a wee bit bigger or a wee bit smaller if you like. But I find one a reasonably good sort of all round size. So get that firmly in. Get a swipe with some super glue. And then we're going to run on some GSP thread. Just treat the whole shank. Right. Then, in order to prevent this slipping, I know some people, I've heard people comp complain about these when it's rigged the way I'm going to do it, that the the rig can slip um, along this shank. What I like to do to prevent that happening is I build two or three humps along the shank. And hopefully you can see there there's a hump and a space, a hump and a space, a hump and a space. Right, I'll come right up to the front. Make a, another wee hump. Right, so that's a series of peaks and troughs, which really, really goes a long way to prevent any slippage. This won't, this never moves. Right. Um, I mean, you could use this on fish that are considerably bigger and stronger than pike or, or musky. Right. So I've threaded my wire through the eye both strands, go to position it so that the bead is basically in line with the back of the hook. And then all you're doing is taking very tight wraps over it. And don't worry about being too neat at this stage and Get it locked in nice and secure. Right? 
I mean, I'm using 210 denier GSP so I can really, really crank down on it. And I'll coat that a couple of times with red. And that's very secure and going absolutely nowhere. Oh, what finish it behind? You need to because you've got well, no, about four inches of wire sticking out the front here. Shorten my thread back up. Cut that away. And then give it a liberal coating of super glue. Right. Don't scrimp here, just get plenty on. Uh, you don't care, it doesn't matter if it blooms or if or anything like that because you've put too much on. Just you want to absolutely saturate it, you want the glue to soak in and grip everything. Right, so that's your rear hook. Front hook, I'm using Partridge Attitude Extra, size 4 of it. You could also use the Universal Predator. Um, the vision hooks are also quite good. I believe they're made with partridge anyway, so it doesn't make much difference. Now this this section here, I'm going to put it through the eye and then set my length, right? But there. So we're going to run on some thread, just the same. Catch that off, and then. Come in with my super glue again. Cover the shank. This just gives you a nice base and gives you a bit more grip than the bare shank would. Now, you don't need to worry about the humps here because the wire's going to be folded through the eye and it's not going to go anywhere. So, thread these lengths of wire in, and you want, I mean it depends on the size of the flies you're, you're looking at. I like to use the back end here as a rough guide, which my wiggle tail flies are about seven or eight inches in the body, plus whatever tail I stick on them. Uh, and I know that if I tie tie it so that the clips here, that roughly fits. If I'm tying slightly smaller, I use the shoulder of the vise here for like a six inch fly. But it's up to you. You can adjust the length to suit yourself. So. Get this last on, and you don't need to worry too much about it being super tidy. And I don't know if you can see, I've got this hook up. It's actually slightly off at a skew. If you imagine the big hook is facing down, like vertically at six o'clock, this is probably kicked towards me at about ten or eleven o'clock. Um, it just gives you a bit better hooking. Just make sure all that's sitting nice and straight on top. And I'll come in here, give a bit of super glue, and I'll just cover it all with red. Right. Now that's already strong and probably gone nowhere. Right? I mean remember it is pike it pike, it's no 
There's no tarpon that you're making these things for. Um, fold back your butt ends, or your cut ends of the titanium. Hold it nice and tight. And lock that in. It's the same thing, just run your thread quickly down and back up. And there you've got a basic wiggle tail rig. You can stop there if you like, if you want a silent fly, which is sometimes what you do want. But I'm going to add a rattle. The rattle I'm using is um, a jig rattle. These are from, uh, you get these feel like the bass shop, uh, like bass pro shops or something. It's got a wee shoulder for plugging into the rattles gripper thing that's on uh, like a football jig, which is good for us, it's handy for tying in. It's better, and it's Bigger and better than a worm, louder anyway than a worm rattle. Although sometimes, again, a couple of small Pyrex rattles can be better than this. Just because if it rattles at a different frequency, it can make a difference on some days. So, I've just lashed that on, at the back of the shank there. I'm taking a couple of wraps around the base and then I'm coming into this little shoulder. We've got plenty of wraps in here. Loads. I'm going to come around the, this wraps again at the bottom. Then I'll come back. Don't worry if it's a ram it doesn't want to sit for you at first. Eventually you'll get it. And it'll stop trying to slip. Sometimes it can just be the if you're um, pulling too tightly as well. I'll skip my thread off it again. Come to the front. Two whip finishes. Then the same again. Ton of super glue. Cover this. You want that glue running into all the gaps and everything. Really, really flood it. Right. Just make sure it's everything's been coated and is nice and wet with the glue. There's actually a wee bit I appear to have missed somehow. And that's it, right? That's well tied in. Rattles straight in top of the shank. You need to make sure of that. This hook's just slightly off at an angle. And the tail is just going to be just clear of the back of the hook. And that'll fit your wiggle tails nice. The last thing I do, once the super glue's nearly dry, or as dry as it is in the back. I'll just come in with my head cement over the top to seal all that glue in. Right. And that makes for an incredibly durable finish that will really stand up to the pike's teeth or muskie if that's what you're fishing for. Um, it, it does make a difference, it makes them last longer compared to just the super glue. So 
same with this. And you don't need to worry if the glue is still slightly damp, you can just put the varnish over it. And that gives you a rock solid finish. So, here's a, a wiggle tail rig for fishing with your large pike tubes. I've already put a couple of videos of them on uh, and there will be a few more coming soon. So I hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel, share the video, etc. And if you can see to go into Patreon and support the channel, that would also be great. Headlines, guys. Bye.